Hello everybody! Welcome to another Luna tutorial! Oh my gosh, today I'm excited to tell you how I stream on Discord to like my friends and stuff by using virtual cameras and you can use virtual camera in OBS and VC face. Either one works. So if you don't have OBS, you could still be like a VTuber or even just for your friends if you wanted to show yourself but not yourself self but your like avatar, you could totally do that. And I'm going to show you how. And you don't need any extra stuff. You don't need any external um hardware per se like if you have a laptop with a camera that's fine because that's actually what i'm using right now i'm just using the basic laptop camera so this is my discord and as you can see i i, I um, created a server just for this <laughs> i will show you how i did this so first we're going to open up vc face right so this is me hello make sure your you know avatar is up and running and everything hit spacebar to bring up this little x Remember, I have a tutorial on VC face, so if you'd like to watch that, please do. It's really good and stuff and gives you nice lots of nice um it gives you lots of nice tips. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, so yeah, hit space bar to bring up this little X, this little teddy X dude. So click on him and that brings you, you know, all of your settings. So then you go into settings, right? And you go to general. Oh, it's all over my face. And then you are going to, okay, this is the top. Then you're gonna scroll down. So what you wanna look for is virtual camera right here. See it? When enabled, a virtual webcam will export the VC face picture, which is like what you see here. The UI, which is, you know, all of these buttons and stuff. The UI will never be shown on the camera. That's nice. Note that Discord, see, it even mentions Discord, will show your own camera mirrored but other people will see it correctly. I had this issue. I, I didn't realize that it wasn't mirrored and every I like saw it and was like, oh, it's backward. I have to fix it. It's gonna look flipped on your screen, but it's not flipped on their screen. So yeah, keep that in mind. And I just leave everything like low latency and stuff. Um, but yeah, you want to enable virtual camera for this session, install virtual camera. You wanna click on that and then your computer's gonna be like, hey, do, you, do we have your permission to do this? And then you'll hit yes. And then it'll pop up like the black uh, command prompt screen that computers have, you know, like command prompts. And it'll sit there and it'll do its thing. And then after a while, it'll say it's successful. Then you hit okay. And you will lag a little bit. That's okay. Just let, let your computer take its time and let it load. It'll only take like maybe a minute or two. You want you need to make sure you install the virtual camera because that's really important. And that's it. That's all you do. I leave all this other stuff blank. Um, yeah, so just enable virtual camera and that's it. And then exit. And then now it should be smooth again. It might take a little bit, so give it some time. So then you can go to Discord, and if you're still not seeing VC face camera, you might have to restart Discord completely. Exit, and then you go down here, there's Discord, and you'll right click it, right, right click it, and then quit Discord. That's how you quit it completely, because if you just hit the X, sometimes it doesn't actually exit out all the way. It just kind of like puts it in the, in the little tray down here. And now you can reopen Discord. So now if I go into the voice channel, ta-da! And then I click on this little guy. There's VC face camera. So you click on that, make sure it's selected, and then you can hit turn on camera. Ta-da! Here we are! Isn't that so cool? That's how you use VC face as, as if it's a camera. It's basically turning VC face into its own camera. Um, but then you can go back into settings if you want to load a background image. I like my room. And then exit and minimize. Oh, and bring up Discord. There! <gasps> Now I'm in my room! Isn't that great? Yes! Oh my gosh, it's so cool! Um, and then VC face, of course, you can, you know, turn yourself and things like that. See, now I'm looking over here! And you can zoom out and stuff too and move yourself up and down, right? You can do all kinds of things, so whatever, you know, VC face is. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Yeah! That is how you use VC face, um, the virtual camera in VC face, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to use OBS's virtual camera. This one's actually easier, I think, and maybe a little bit more customizable. I usually use OBS's virtual camera. I just found out that I can use VC faces. Say I wanted to um, show off my whole screen with me in it, because you know how in Discord, 
You can share your whole screen. However, I'm not in it. I would have to be over here too. And that's okay. You know, I could do that. But let's say, for example, I wanted to be in it over here. So, you know, it's like, okay, how would I do that? And I have a tutorial on OBS, so make sure you watch that so you know how to use to, uh, OBS and stuff too, okay? So you would just set up, you know, your scenes, your sources, you would set everything up that you need to, and then all you have to do is hit start virtual camera. And that's it. That's literally all you have to do. In settings here, make sure it's program default. That way you're seeing all of that and not just other things, right? Um, unless you want it specifically, like say you use OBS a lot when you're streaming and stuff, but you specifically only want to show your friends like one thing, like say I only want to show them this, right? Say every time I get on Discord, I only want to show them this, but I'm constantly clicking on these and doing all kinds of things and I don't want to accidentally show them something. So what you could do in that case, make sure this is off, make sure it says start, click on this cog, and then you can tell it a specific scene. So we're gonna to go to scene, and we're gonna tell it VTube vlog, because that's gonna be the one that I want, right? So even though it's showing like all of this stuff, like if I was streaming and blah, blah, blah. So now when I hit start virtual camera, it should only show what I told it to. Ta-da! Even though this is what we're seeing in OBS, we told it we only want the virtual camera to take from VTube vlog scene, right? That's what we told it and that's in it listened. Isn't that cool? Another example might be, let's stop that so I can, let's say not scene, but just a source. Say I only want it to capture just me right? So then we're going to just go to source because I don't have a scene set up for that, but it's just a source. It's just one single source. It's not a lot to it. And then I want to tell it, what do I want to tell it? Oh, Luna. That's me. So now it should just be me. I don't know what that looks like, so let's find out. So now it's just going to be this source. Start virtual camera. There's me. So it's just taking this source, which is me, just me. And it's putting it right there in the middle. Right? So the out the, the, the thingies in OBS, you've got scenes right here, right? And you've got sources. Okay? So that's what those are. You can do scenes, sources. I don't know what preview is to be honest. So that's how you use um, virtual camera to stream it to like Discord and stuff. And it doesn't even have to just be Discord. Uh, other video chatting things. I'm sure like Facebook, Skype. Uh, Google Meets and stuff. I don't know. I don't know the other ones. Basically, anything that uses a camera on your computer should have these, right? So if we go to VC Face, boop, now it's using VC Face again. If we go to OBS Virtual Camera, now it's using OBS again. That's the main differences between VC Face and OBS is like, there's, you could add so much more. You could add games. You could add stuff. Whereas I think VC face, the only option I see is just the background image, which is fair. That's enough if you're just talking to friends. If you're wanting to stream more than that, then you might want to use OBS, you know, because then you can stream uh, video games and stuff like Minecraft. So thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very helpful because that's what I intend to do is be helpful to those who, you know, are just curious or just want to know how to do things. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like the video and if you like my content, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.